I like to make. I really like to make stuff. I'm not a good painter. I don't draw a lot, but I really enjoy making. I really enjoy touching material. And but in ID, I learned all this, the scene behind and the scene beyond. All the research going into it because this ID is solving problems, creating a problem, and then solve that problem. But at the same time, I think it's limiting what we give. In the end. it's always a proposal, and what we make is prototypes. And then I pick ceramics. I don't have a lot of connection with clay before. I'm finding a way that combines the way that I used to research in ID and the ceramics. Because artists and designer works in such different ways. An artist start with ideas and use the material as a method to represent and convey their ideas. Designers always trying to solve a problem, trying to find the best way to utilize the material, utilize the design method. So I was thinking, what if we switch the concept and then mix both together? The art form is a very majestic architectural form. And artworks are very particular. Like they have a certain angle, and there's a ratio to the height and the width of the arch. So the form is actually defined already. I was influenced by coral reefs. They are alive, but they slowly build into a skeleton form. It's biochemical reaction that makes soft tissue into a bone. And then the sad thing is, when they die, that they left this really beautiful white skeletons. But that's the way organic built into solid structures. I start with a form, and then it's growing from the outside to the inside. It's like coral. Interesting that we don't usually relate it to dissertation when it comes to ceramics because it's old material. It's very ancient material. It's handmade for containers. Creating this ceramic piece is is also a very old technique, but. You can add a lot of different procedures into it, and one of them is technology, creating a synergy between the traditional craft and the digital computation to find what to fulfill that space, what to fulfill that shape. And in this case, the three D printing is like、uh, is related to hand building. You roll the ceramics into round coils and then build it up. You can build it very very tall. It's very traditional technique to make huge pots. But it's identical to 3D printing because 3D printing is extruding that line around the confined surface and then give you a solid object. So it's the same thing. It's just one done by the human and one is by machine. I try to be as precise as as the machine. What's the limit of the machine can go? I got a lot of electronic stuff. I got alarm clock. I got an old radio. I got an old mixer, and then I disassemble them to see、uh, what the inside looks like. This object of fusing that alarm clock into the ceramics and makes the alarm clock still work. But you can see, you, I'm still exposing the electrical cords and the wires, but it's connecting to the ceramics piece itself. We witness the vast development of China over the past twenty years. China changed a lot, and one particular reason that is the mass production is production techniques, the speed and the quality, the quantity. My father was a contractor for architecture. He also、uh, supplied materials to all the factory. My father used to take me to all sorts of factories to see a car manufacturer. It's a huge assembly line built into three, four floors. It's basically a car per minute. But when it comes to the mold, you can manufacture that mold, and that is very similar to how they produce actual product, like metal product. Like they need to make a mold, and the cast recasting ability, you can produce like ten thousand of the similar objects, and then reconnect them back together. I think that's in my kind of concept all the time. The surprise is ceramics can do so much, and at the same time it can do so little. It's very, it's very strange. Like ceramics is fragile. At the same time, it's hard enough 
to do certain things. There's something unexpected to the material, and it makes sense. I wish people to see all.、Oh, Clay can do this. Oh, wood can do this. I, I like that reaction. My work, it is interactive, and then you wanna go into it, into the piece. People can walk through them, people walk under them, walk around them. You don't have to touch it, but just to see the texture that ceramics providing you, you can see the process. Some other material may not provide this. In each of the material, I try to break it, break it limit. Like wood, I bend it super hard to see when it's gonna break. I broke probably like 50 hoops before I I find the right size, like of the tension because there's a tension, so there's a limit. The past few years is like a journey of finding myself because we require to do a lot of writing. We have a lot of context in the work, but we just don't see it until we write it out and then find what is the story behind it. Where the research should start, and where should the research go to? And very interesting. I want to dive into how people being romantic. We have realized I'm not a very romantic person, and <laughs> in my daily life, I just want to research how materials can be romantic. In China, they carved a thousand Buddha on the side of the mountain. It's called Thousand Buddha Cave. They create a space for the Buddha, and then carve the Buddha inside, and then create all different things, different stories. More romantic is how people convey a very grand gesture, the historical carving to the mountain. In the end, they create artifact. When I went to Iceland and I saw the volcano movement, make the mountain creating this hexagon columns on the side of the cliff. That was the inner energy exposed and moving the rocks together, eventually creating the hexagon, creating a very geometric form. A lot of my work is geometric, and that's probably coming from industrial design background. We try to be minimal. We don't go with fancy organic shape because sometimes minimal can just do the job. My ultimate goal is teaching the public about ceramics, like how ceramics should behave during this kind of technological, progressive time. People can see my work, and then if it's like I don't care if they have an art background or not, like and they can visualize and appreciate the artistic process that go behind it.